tomorrow, every Friday and Saturday, it's open door, so all of you are invited to come any Friday and Saturday in Ramadan. Um, and generally, we're trying to do this to open up the building and our faith to other people who want to come as well. So if any of you know your friends and your colleagues that may be Muslim, may be non-Muslim, maybe just uh, want to see what fasting is, what Muslims do, they're more than welcome to come along. You don't need to send us a message as such. Just come in, make your way up, and <coughs> this is your building. It's all yours, hopefully. Um, so that's just a bit of the idea of what was what's happening. Um, we're named the Abrahamic Foundation to represent the Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. He was a prophet in Islam, uh, a very uh, great figure in our faith as Muslims. And we know he's also a very important figure within the Christian and the, Judeo, uh, the, the, the Jewish faith. And hence we thought it was a name which was appropriate because it, it, it inculcates our, all our communities here within the United Kingdom in particular. Um, and that's why we've named it that. We hope to remain open uh, as possible, uh, alhamdulillah. I'm so happy for Ella to be here. Your friend, yeah. Beth from Shalom Collegiate. Uh, we have Reverend Nick Ross here from the Holy Trinity Church. Um, I'm now going to invite my uh, dear friend, Reverend Nick Ross from uh, Holy Trinity from across the road. It's uh, always been a pleasure to uh, spend time with Nick and deliver a lot of projects and do a lot of interfaith work with Nick. And I want him to say a few words as well. Thank you. Let's hear everybody. I, I just wanted to say a, a big thank you for the invite, invitation that we've had to, to come here today. It is wonderful. As you say, it is so important that we get to know each other. It is so important that we don't just share a place and live parallel lives, but that we learn about each other and we learn from each other. Nazir, I was delighted to say, came along to one of our services before Christmas and read one of the lessons in church from the Old Testament, from the Abrahamic faith, and that was wonderful. And we're delighted to be here today to share Iftar with you this evening. It is in all our faiths, this idea that we have a responsibility to each other and that we have work that we need to do together that can only be done together. In one of the Gospels, Jesus is asked what the commandments are. And he says, love the Lord your God with all your soul, with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. And when somebody asks him, who is my neighbor? His response is a story that tells the story of the Good Samaritan, of somebody from another ethnicity, from another faith, who helps that person. It's a hugely important story. It's one that's too often forgotten. It's one that's important in both our faiths. That idea that we are neighbors together, we have a responsibility to each other, we have so much we can learn from each other. I am so pleased and so thankful for the Abrahamic Foundation and the welcome that it offers here and the fact that it has, as part of its message, this idea of bringing us together. I hope that's something that we can continue to share. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's something that will continue to grow. So once again, thank you to you all. And uh, we look forward to sharing this and to continuing from this to learn from each other. Thank you. What will happen is at approximately uh, 29 past, at third, uh, half past, um, the call for prayer will take place, the Muslim call for prayer, and that is generally the, uh, the call upon which Muslims will uh, open their fast because uh, the call for prayer is the sunset prayer. And as soon as the sun sets, the call for prayer will take place. One of, our, one of the youngsters from here will probably do the call for prayer. And then we normally open our fast with uh, dates in the water. 